So on number three here, uh, we're looking at a cone. So a conical cup has a 10 centimeter diameter and is 12 centimeters deep. So I'm thinking of a little snow cone cup, right? It's a kind of, it's a cone. So we have... Like that, maybe. And this cup has a 10 centimeter diameter and has it's 12 centimeters deep. And how much can this cup hold? So what's the volume of this cup? So pretty easy here. What's Joey, what's the uh, volume of the cup again? The formula here? Yes, so it's one third so pi r squared times the height. Okay, so basically we have the area of the base, which the base here would be the circle, so the area of that circle, that's the pi r squared, times the height. That would give you the volume of the cylinder, but then it's one third because it's a cone. So we can substitute those in. Just be a little careful because what's the radius here? 5 squared times 12. When we do that, what do we get for the volume? Oh, I got 314.159 um, yeah. CMQ. 314.159. That's, that's kind of like pi, isn't it? Yeah, I kept on going. Same. That's weird, but interesting. Well, I guess if you t look at what we have here, um, one third of 12 is 4. 4 times 25 is 100, so it's 100 times pi. That's what that came from. Makes sense. Okay. Now we have a another cup, and this is where it kind of got a little bit tricky. We have another cup that is 6 centimeters deep. So what's the first reaction as far as guessing what percentage? Oops, the water in the cup. Actually, I'm not going to draw that. Why would I do that? Let's actually just draw some water in the cup. And this is 6 centimeters deep. So what's the, the, probably the typical first reaction to what percentage is filled? It's half. It's half filled. But the problem now is it's, if this were a, a cylinder, like a regular, just, you know, imagine a soda can, if you drank halfway down, you would have drank half of the volume. But now it should be smaller. Do you think that? Right. So this, so this, this amount up here, because this is wider, is definitely more than this amount left. So it wouldn't be just half. It wouldn't be just half. So we have to figure out what would it actually be. So any ideas of how to figure this out? Tom. So you're saying here that this diameter here would be 5. Why do you think that diameter is 5? Because the top is 10, the bottom is 0. So if you go halfway down, then it's 5. Yeah, if you think about this right here, this is kind of how I thought about it. I mean, more mathematically, I guess. But if I draw these right triangles here, these right triangles are similar, right? So this height, this has to be 5 and the height was 12. So if I cut this triangle, since they have the same angle right here and the same angle here, they're similar triangles. So therefore, since this is 6 right here, this has to be 2.5. Make sense? OK, so with the, that idea, we're cutting in half a few things. We're cutting the height in half. We're also cutting in half the radius. So now. We could just go straight up and resolve it, which is what I'm going to do. One third 
pi r squared times the height. That's one third pi times the radius, which is now 2.5 squared times 6. And what did we get when we did that? Do we have that answer? The answer for the volume of 12. the 12.5? Oh, you have a 12.5 percent. Did anybody find the actual volume of it? Oh. So if it, nobody found the actual volume, is that okay? Everybody agree with that? This should be cubed, not squared, as I put down here. Okay. So now we can find the percentage by taking this 39.27 divided it by the 314.159 and you got 12 and a half percent what you're saying and that's the answer now some people didn't have or at least they didn't say they had the actual amount for the smaller cup so that leads me to believe that there must be some way to do that without actually calculating both of these and solving that makes sense? So can we do the same problem without the numbers in a general form? Let's try. What's that? Yeah, I want to see. Here's my thing. I cut this in half, right? I cut that in half. I take any cone and cut it in half. What I'm saying here is that is this 12.5%, is that only because of the, di of the dimensions, or will it always be 12.5%? Yes? Well, it is one-eighth of the entire cone. So this, so this is one-eighth of the entire cone? Uh, 12.5%. Is one-eighth? Yeah. Yes. So the question is, will that always work when you cut the, when you fill it half full? Let's do a quick proof of this, because this is kind of what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to kind of make that tiny, draw another cone here, and hopefully you can kind of follow along with what I'm saying here. we got a cone that has a radius, r, and a height of h. Okay, we know that the volume of this cone right here is one-third pi r squared times the height, right? Now, if I cut this in half, if I only fill it half full of water or whatever, liquid, we fill it half full, what is the new height here? One-half h. And we just proved through similar triangles on this one, what is this new radius here? That would be one half r. So with that idea, we can substitute those into our formula here. And our new volume, I'll do a I'll put this, I'll put volume of our little cone is one third still, that's still in the formula. Pi, but now your radius is one half r. So we're gonna go one half r squared times the new height, which is one half h, and we can simplify this out just a bit. One third pi times one fourth r squared times one half the height. Now this ends up being one third times one fourth times one half is what? One eighth. One eighth. Now that sounds familiar pi r squared times h. So if you look at what is actually different between these two formulas, it's only this one-eighth factor, right? You could now. But we didn't know that, is what I'm saying. We didn't know that before we started. We just, I mean, at least I didn't know that before I started. Now I saw it's 12.5%. So now when I look at this formula, I said, well, this should just prove pretty much using algebra that 
if I fill it halfway up, the new volume is one eighth. Okay, and now we can use that from now on because it's proved. Questions?